So this is the Laumann Museum, the world's oldest collection of cars. There's over 275 cars here and the Laumann family started collecting them in 1934. This incredible thing is a 2008 Lincoln sedan delivery deco liner with a Harley Davidson Sportster deco scoot in the back. So this is a 1968 Toyota 2000 GT. Nineteen sixty three Chevy Corvette Stingray. Interesting looking Swiss concept car with a very low drag coefficient from 1985. six-wheel Formula One car that was tested but never actually used in races. This Baja buggy was owned by Steve McQueen. The McLaren from Bruce McLaren and Denny Hulme, both from New Zealand. Beautiful 1941 Alfa Romeo 8C. 1957 Maserati 300S. 1965 Ferrari 500 Superfast Speciale. In 1957 Ferrari built a special racer for a New Zealander. And this is the Ferrari 625 New Zealand Tasman. One off special racer. Ferrari 275 GTB, 1932 Graham Blue Streak Coupe and Curtis Aero Car Land Yacht. That's incredible. Look, it's got leather on the outside. So, as much as Devon likes cars, he prefers travelling on legs. Complete opulence inside a car. 
only chauffeur driven. Beautiful 1931 Packard 840 Deluxe Phaeton. Incredible workmanship. So this is a 1910 Rolls-Royce shooting brake, specifically made for hunting. <laughs> Another Rolls-Royce, 1926 Phantom Barker Torpedo Tourer. The 1910 Brook Swan Car. So it was commissioned by a wealthy Scotsman who lived in Calcutta and he wanted to shock the local elite. And the swan's eyes were electric. They were electric lights and it could open its beak and spray steam to clear a path in the crowds. And then it has these brushes on the wheels to brush off any elephant dung that it ran over. Nineteen thirty-six Mercedes Benz five hundred K. Nineteen twenty-nine Mercedes Benz SSK. Nineteen thirty-seven Duesenberg. Owned by Father Divine, who was an American evangelist. I didn't realize that's where the term it's a doozy came from it was meant to signify high quality meaning Duesenberg because they were synonymous with quality so this is a 1936 Toyota AA before it changed its name to Toyota and it's the oldest known Toyota in the world. They found it in Russia. So there's a 2005 Toyota electric concept personal mobility vehicle. Bugatti Type 57 Roadster. So the world's first six cylinder engine, four wheel drive, four wheel brakes in a 1903 Dutch Spiker. Model T production line in 1917 and they could make 2,000 cars a day. So that's a Hotchkiss with one of the first rubber bumpers that could actually absorb a crash up to 40 kilometers an hour. The beautiful Ford Eiffel made in Germany. It's a Fiat 850 Chalette Spider. It was popular in the 60s and 70s around the Riviera and often they'd keep them on their yachts and the wicker seats would be better than the salt. So 
So this Fiat 1100 boat car wasn't actually amphibious. It couldn't go in the water at all. They just made it look like a boat as a publicity stunt. So that little red one in the back is a 1970 Suzuki Fronte 500. And it is 1967 Honda S800 Coupe in the middle there. 1947 MG police car. So we're in the electric vehicles section now. Some from 1908. It's a Baker electric coupe. A Breguet A2 from 1942. 72 volt electric vehicle. So this is a beautiful panhard with a skiff body. And when the museum acquired this in 1970, they had to actually get a shipyard to restore it because no one else possessed the uh, the knowledge to make that body work anymore. So this is a Graham Model 65 from 1935, whereas the Pierce Arrow is from 1937, so same era, but already caravan building looked a lot more modern. Bambino 200, actually a Dutch car from 1955. An Italian Iso Isetta. Elvis owned about a hundred Cadillacs and this is one of them. 1976 Series 62 Fleetwood. That is, it's a French sedan chair from 1750. It's a workshop of a carriage builder. The museum also has one of the largest collections of art and posters related to automobiles. Well that is one of the oldest cars in the world, 1887. Horse-drawn steam fire engine from 1875. Old This is an old panhard. It is identical to the very first car to win the very first automobile race, Paris Bordeaux Paris, 1200 kilometers. This is called a Worth dog cart, and probably the only surviving Worth of the 15, produced in 1899. So this is a Godu tandem made by the inventor of the stapler in 1898. So the Oldsmobile is still leaking oil over 100 years later. This is a German Fanomobile van from 1912. 
going back in time to 1886 again. A whole lot of smaller coaches. Spiker, a very interesting horn. <laughs> Here is the museum cafe after walking through some replica streets. It's actually so that's actually a blimp cabin. <laughs> <laughs> 